Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marwa aka Miss English Teacher. In today's video I am teaching you five common mistakes you're probably making when using verbs. Of course we're gonna start with the easiest ones and as we go it's going to get more and more difficult. Can you find the mistake? A1 level. Jim has an amazing car. Good. We say Jim has. Always remember this. He, she, it, always, s. So Jim has. Jim walks. Jim does. Jim goes. He, she, it, s. I know this may sound too easy, but 90% of the time I hear this mistake. Start listening to others carefully and you will hear it too. If you're enjoying this video and you would like to see more of my videos, then make sure to hit the like button and especially that notification bell. A2 level. I didn't touch your phone. You didn't what? I didn't touch it. You mean you didn't touch. No ED. Okay, but the past of touch is touched. I didn't touch. I know in some languages you're going to show the past form in the auxiliary in the verb. But actually we use the second form of the verb that is the past only in affirmative sentences. So we say, I watched this yesterday, but I didn't watch it. And did you watch it. This is more obvious when it comes to irregular verbs as I hear some people say um, I didn't went. I'm like oh no 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 it's I didn't go. I went but I didn't go. Okay so pay attention. Let's continue with B1 level. I will must work tomorrow. <sighs> Can you find the mistake? Exactly. You can never use two model verbs together. But you can use one model verb plus two verbs. Could you help me correct it? Good. You should say, I will have to work tomorrow. I will have to work tomorrow. Okay, let's practice a bit more. I will can help you at night. Good. I will be able to help you at night. So we replace must with have to, can with be able to. If you have any questions about these two, then you may want to check my live lesson. I explained all modern verbs. You can find the link in the description. Okay, so you made it to the last level. B2 level. Listen to this conversation. I feel like to travel a lot. <clears throat> I miss it. I feel like traveling. Yeah, ING. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I feel like traveling a lot. But uh, unfortunately, I can't afford uh, paying for my trip. <clears throat> I can't afford Paying? What's the problem? I can't afford. Can you correct it? She should say, I can't afford to pay. Now I understand this could be tricky since the only way of knowing this is to learn them by heart. Okay, there is a list of verbs and you just need to learn them by heart. Let's practice some more and you need to choose if the verb is going to be a gerund, verb plus ing, or an infinitive, verb plus two. We hope soon again. Is it seen or to see? Good to see. 
when did he decide quitten or to quit? Good, to quit. I finally completed my thesis. To write or write in. Good, writing. My brother promised me to the airport. Good, to take. Avoid if you feel tired or sleepy. Good, driving. She begged me. to stay. He insisted on us. Good. He insisted on helping us. If you would like to practice more, then go ahead, check the description. I have included the most common verbs and you can see whether they are followed by an ing, a gerund, or an infinitive. Okay, so you just need to learn them by heart and watch a lot of TV series, Netflix series to practice. I have one last question for you. Have you a car? Now this sentence is wrong, but actually there are two ways of correcting it. If you know both, you are a pro. So go ahead and leave a comment, I'll check it out. In my next video, I'll teach you how to replace basic words with more advanced ones. So, go ahead and watch it here.